Hey, my name is Felipe and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to implement a license plate detector using Python and Yolo v3. And I am going to walk you step by step through this process, which is going to take us only a few minutes. So following this video, you are going to have a license plate detector up and running in a few minutes time. Let's start with it. So this is the repository we are going to use in this project. You can see this repository is called YOLO License Plate Detection and this is in my GitHub account. Computer Vision Developer, this is my GitHub account. But this is a fork I did from another repository, from this other repository. And when I was preparing this tutorial, I was looking for many different implementations for license plate detectors, for available license plate detectors. And this was one of the repositories I liked the most. It, and basically it was because it was super easy to use, it was super fast to execute. I basically, the only thing I had to do is to clone this repository and that was pretty much it. So I really like this repository to take as a baseline. And also I have been testing this algorithm with many different images from many different cars, from many different countries, many different license plates. And I noticed that it works pretty well. It doesn't work perfectly, it, the accuracy is not perfect but either way it works very very good so let's start with it and i'm going to show you every single step of this process and i am not going to fast forward this video at any time so the same time you're going to see it takes me to execute this process it's the same time it could take you i am not going to fast forward any part of this process i may do some edits to this video in case i make a mistake or in case i need to make an edit but i am not going to fast forward the video so the same time it's going to take me to do it it's the same time it could take you to uh, run exactly the same process so the first thing we need to do is to clone re this repository so i am going to copy the repository url and then i am going to this directory, which is a directory I have prepared for today's tutorial, and you can see the directory name, which is today's tutorial. So I am going to open a terminal and I am going to git clone this repository. So the repository has been cloned and what I'm going to do now is to move to this directory and I am going to create a virtual environment. So I'm calling virtual env bem python Python 3.8. I have to run this command because I am using a Linux machine, but if you are a Windows user, this may be slightly different in your computer. So if you don't know how to do this in your Windows computer, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to help you. Now let's continue. Now I am going to create this virtual environment. The virtual environment has been created and I am going to activate this virtual environment by calling this command. Okay, so the virtual environment has been activated and what I have to do next is to install all the project's requirements, which are these ones. This project has only two requirements, two libraries we need to install. So I will pip install these two libraries. Okay, so we are installing the dependencies. This is only going to take a couple of minutes and that's it. It only took a couple of seconds. Okay, so Everything is pretty much ready to use it, but we need to download the project weights or actually the model weights. And in order to do so, there is a link in the readme of this repository. And if you click in this link, in this URL, you, can, you will be able to download the model weights. So we have to wait only a few seconds. Remember, this is live, so I am not going to fast forward any part of this process. And the model weights have been downloaded. So I'm going to the downloads directory and I am going to copy the model weights and I am going to paste them here in the model slash weights directory. So the weights are in the needed location. And what I'm going to do next, the only thing we need to do next is just executing this code, executing the script which is going to detect the license plates in our data. So let me show you first super quickly what's the data we are going to use in order to test this algorithm. This uh, directory, these images are in the repository. You can find these images in the repository I am going to paste in the description of this video. This is the data directory and you can see that each one of these images is a car with a license plate. So these are the cars, these are the images we are going to use in order to test this project. And now let's see how it works. We are going to execute 
a script which is located in source and then it's called object detection yolo.pi so i'm going to oh sorry i am going to copy the file name and i am going to call python source sorry maybe it's going to be best if we move if we move to source and then python object detection yolo.pi and then to specify in order to specify in our images directory we need to add this flag which is image dir and then the path of our image directory which in our case is this one okay and i am not going to fast forward this process so you are going to see how much time it takes us but in the meanwhile while we are executing this process let me tell you what are the changes i did to the original repository so you know what are the changes i did to this repository the first change i did was the, the first change I, I made to this repository that you can see that originally all the um, all the files were in the root directory you can see all the different files some of these files are scripts some more files are related to the model or files are actually images there is like a lot of files in the root directory so what i did one of the things i did was to rearrange these files and i created uh, some directories so everything looks cleaner and it's a little cleaner from my uh, perspective or according to my taste <laughs> so i created a source directory which contains all the python scripts we need for this project then i created another directory which is model and it contains everything that's related to the model like the configuration file the weights and the uh, classes.names which is actually a file containing only one class or only one class name license plate and another thing i did and i think it was a very good edit or at least add, I, I like to do this with my with my repositories with my projects is i removed all the weights from this repository so this is another edit i did to this project and that's pretty much it then i also did a, a few more edits in the uh, script we are currently executing in the default repository in the repository it took as a baseline the only options are testing this code on a single image on a video or on the webcam so the testing the repository testing this project or an images directory it was also one of my edits but it doesn't matter let's continue with this project and we see now that our code has been executed everything has been successfully executed we don't have any error we see some output from this algorithm and if i go to my directory to the same directory where i had my input data we can see now that we also have the output data we have some data with some bounding boxes which are the license plates and in this case it detected exactly where the license plate is located for this other car exact exactly the same we have detected exactly where it's this license plate the same for this other car and the same for this other car and exactly the same for this other car the license plate detector is working perfectly and you can see also that all of these cars all of these license plates they are from different countries and they all they all have different formats and different styles and different colors and we are detecting them anyway so this is what i meant that this detector has a very good accuracy has a very high performance it's it may not be perfect because i also tested this algorithm in some images which didn't work i mean the performance wasn't really that good but uh, but uh, nevertheless it's pretty good if i had to judge like the overall accuracy like the overall performance i would say this is an amazing algorithm for sure so this is going to be all for this project you notice that i didn't fast forward this video at any time so the same time it took me to execute all these different steps it's the same time it's, it could take you to run exactly the same process and this is going to be all for this video if you enjoyed this video i invite you to click the like button and i also invite you to subscribe to my channel my name is felipe i'm a computer vision developer and in this channel i make tutorials exactly like this one where i show you different projects related to computer vision image processing or machine learning this is going to be all for today and see you on the next video